Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about the real time clock from Blink app. So, just a brief introduction for whoever don't know what is real time clock means. Real time clock is the hardware and the software that able to provide the microcontroller with our relative of time. That means the time now, so that the microcontroller can execute an action based on the time provided. So for example, if you want to turn on a load at a specific time, for example, you want to turn on your lights at 7 p.m., real-time clock module and also the software allows the microcontroller to know exactly what time to turn on. The second example is, if you want to data lock energy meter, for example, if you want to separate the daily energy, monthly energy and yearly energy, you need this input so that every day, it separates the calculation energy. So, RTC is very important on any action regarding our real time. So by default, you have an Arduino board. The Arduino board doesn't record our real time because it doesn't have any hardware on it. So if you want to relate any action related to our time, you need a hardware module. So this is one of the example of real time clock module. So normally you can see there's a battery over here so that it can store the timing throughout the years it records the timing from your laptop or pc you just need to key in once during the upload so that it can store inside however if you take out the battery for replacement then the memory will be lost so you have to reprogram the arduino code again so that this module can read the time from your pc it also come out with the shield so real time clock module is actually around here because you can see the battery over here so this one is for stacking Arduino Uno and this one can be used for almost all microcontroller so let's go back to the node MCU as long as you got the internet access to the Blink app the Blink app will provide you access to the Blink server so that your microcontroller can read the real-time clock from their server so you don't need the real-time clock module so it can save some cost and wiring today's example is we are using the counting time for second to determine the on-off of this built-in LED so I already programmed like less than 30 seconds the LED will turn on more than 30 seconds the LED will turn off see within 30 seconds the LED will light and wait for more than 30 seconds it will turn off and this process is keep repeating so when you are in the Blink app you just create a new project so for example this project will be named real time clock from blink okay the device we are using is the node mcu okay and connection type is y5 just create the project so you create a off token to your email address just click ok so this is the interface of your main page just swap to the left you can see the widget box here so for this example we need input for the real time clock okay so for this real time clock there's a time zone so that we tell the blink server which our time zone and location is so for example i'm living in asia and kuala lumpur just click ok the second thing is if you want to show the time value over here you just left swap and create a widget called value display so for this display i name it as current time just to show the time so the current time input is virtual pin number one okay refresh interval is one second click ok Okay, I move it down to the max. Then I also create another one called current date. Okay, is at virtual P 
pin 2 ok one second and click ok just hold it and drag down ok so the setting for the blink app is completed once you are in the block page you just read through it there's no need any hardware wiring you just need the node mcu board and as for software it consists of two parts on the phone part which i just show you on the phone part follow the steps and you need the arduino program on pc so these are the steps you need to download the board managers the libraries as well so when you are at the end of the page there's a program file over here rtc from blink server using node mcu just right click and save link as let's open it up so when you're in the code there's only three things you need to change the first one is the off token you get from your blink apps through the email the second is the wi-fi name this one you can check at your phone and wi-fi password so the rest can remain unchanged here i just want to show you how you get the date and time information for your future projects so you can get six parameters over here so you can get the hour minute second day month and also the year i'm using the second number for the led operation okay just verify and upload the code okay once done uploading you just go to tools and serial monitor so this is the exact data we send to the blink app 